Hi, I'm uh, Tong Sao, which uh, you're probably wondering what that means. Uh, uh, I'm a multifaceted person, so please don't try to put me in a box. Uh, my interests range from uh, biblical counseling uh, and scripture to uh, I'm a guitarist. That's why you might see my subscriber leads, or I subscribe to a, uh, a guitarist. Um, uh, I'm also a martial artist and a father, a single parent, actually. And uh, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. My name is Charles, if you'd like to uh, leave a comment for me. Um, I, I don't really care if you do or not. Um, and, and I just uh, like to say hi and uh, thanks for uh, allowing me on the YouTube uh, community. And I'm. I'd like to say that I'm just shocked that uh, the few videos that I put up have uh, attracted uh, attention and, and subscribers. So thank you to uh, to those of you who have subscribed. Uh, I'd like to introduce um, a new series of videos I'll be putting up. Uh, they will be uh, scenes from different movies. I might e even uh, read some sections of novels. And this is in the area of biblical counseling, so uh, it might not be an area that a lot of Christians are familiar with because a lot of people are concerned with salvation, righteousness, and, uh, and they don't know uh, that the Bible goes into great detail about a great number of other subjects, including emotions and, uh, and that idea through righteousness and emotions and how it plays out. Uh, in uh, how to walk with God, so this series is uh, is going to end up talking about pretty much the same thing over and over again, but you're going to see it from many different angles. Uh, the uh, The reason I'm using movies is because I am a I, I do believe that that it's true that we are all created in the image of God, and we can't help but bear that image. So. Uh, even the people that refuse to believe in him can't help but desire the things that he put in their heart to desire. So uh, this uh, section will be devoted to the idea of hope and desire because uh, God claims that he is our ultimate hope and desire. So if we look at uh, the most core desires of our heart, and the uh, fundamental desires of our heart, he's promised that he is the satisfaction for those. So, with that, um, this is a uh, a scene from the movie The Neverending Story uh, by Michael, uh, who the the author of the story is uh, Michael Andreas Helmuth End or Ende, uh, German author who. I'm not sure if he was a Christian or not. Um, I've, I've been trying to find some information on him, and and I'm just fascinated by the words that he put in into his story, or maybe the screenwriters have put into the movie. Uh, I, I always like to check the original novel, and sometimes I'm fascinated by how much the the original novel was even better than the way that the screenwriters or the movie producers put the movie together. Although sometimes I'm more shocked at the movie. So. Uh, and not so much the book. So, this first one is the never-ending story. This is a scene where Bastion is has read through the majority of the story, and he's coming to the part where the nothing, uh, this force, is coming against the world of Fantasia to destroy it. And this, in the story, uh, Atreyu is has finally lost his horse and lost Falcor the the dog dragon friend that he had and he's uh, running away from the nothing and he meets up with uh, this character um, as he comes into this this section of, uh, of Fantasia and I just think it's interesting to listen to the words of this character and uh, the character of Atreyu is as portrayed as who we were created to be best and uh, well 
you, you look for yourself and, and uh, hopefully you'll see what I see. Thanks.